Hi guys, today I have my monthly manis for March. I did not plan to have a monthly manis. I thought I would go back to my weekly manis somewhere regularly, but it just didn't happen. So we shall see what happens next month. But regardless, before we start, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and turn on the notification bell button so that you can be notified when I upload new videos like this one. The first mani I did was actually for a birthday celebration for Patty. Patty is the PR person for UNT. I got to know her through the PR relations, but she truly had become a good friend of mine. And I used my Maniology M051 plate. That plate is a pineapple design plate. And the colors I used, uh, the first one is my Sheer Nude Base. This is Sally Hansen Color Therapy Sheer line. The color is called Bear Kiss. And the yellow base I used is Revlon Buttercup. It's just the pale yellow. It's so good. It's been so long since I used it. So I'm really glad I got to use that one. And then I used the stamping polish from Maniology called Evergreen. So it was a really good design. I am really happy with how that turned out. The next look I did was a recreation from Jemima Nails and her account is on Instagram. She has amazing designs. This recreation is super simple. I just used two colors from Orly's Day Trippin' collection. So the yellow I used is called Here Comes the Sun and the deep navy purple is in the color Feeling Foxy. I just used a detailed brush to kind of draw the little curves. And it was just such a simple look and I used some white polish to draw the squiggly lines. It just came out so seamlessly. I did film a little tutorial and I will have it in my Orly 3 Looks 1 collection video. Another look I did with the Orly collection is a freehand nail art design. This tutorial is also in my Orly three looks, one collection video. This time around, I used the four more colorful shades. So I have Happy Camper, Catch You Later, Can You Dig It, and Here Comes the Sun. So basically, I used the minty green as a base, and I just freehand drew the little arched curve one layer at a time. It was so, so simple. No tools needed. It's just one of the easiest looks. Next, I wore a glitter polish. It's been years since I wore a glitter dense polish. This one is from Deborah Lipman. The color is called Flash Dance. This one is just a magenta kind of base with a lot of hot fuchsia metallic glitters. It's simple, but very flashy. I love it. I love that about it. And I just enjoy the color so, so much. I usually don't like glitter textures on my nails, so I always use a glitter eating kind of top coat. I think Glisten Glow has one. I use the one from Pinta Flanges. They just smooth everything out and leave no texture behind. I love it. I love this look. The only thing is that this polish stained my nails pretty bad. After I removed it, all my nails just stained kind of like orange. Another glitter dense polish I used is Moonshine Manny Department of Mysteries 2.0. This one was sent to me PR last year, I want to say, or maybe the year before that. But this one is full of aqua and teal and blue and green kind of glitters in there. It's just so amazing. And the formula is really easy for a glitter dense polish like this. Two coats is completely opaque. Of course, I use my glitter eating top coats as well. I just loved it, loved it, loved it. It's hard to remove because of all the glitters, but I don't mind it. I just wanted glitters on my hands. If you haven't figured out by now, <laughs> I used a lot of glitters this month. The next one I had was also a glitter polish. This one is from NCLA. It's one of those really old ones. Like back in the day, this was like famous. It's a lavender based Crelly. It has a lot of uh, pink metallic glitters, purple, silver metallic glitters. It's really fun to the standard like a few years ago. I wore it again and again because I just didn't know how I feel about it. And I finally have realized I felt very not impressed. It's underwhelming. The formula is all right. I'm not complaining about that. I just don't think the shade really looks as amazing on my nails. The base is definitely a little bit too opaque. It covered most of the glitters. 
it just didn't look nearly as fun on my nails. I was just underwhelmed. I think I kept it around for all this time because it was a famous shade. But I really think it's time for me to part with it. I'm done. Yeah, I'm gonna declutter this one. Next, I finally decided to do some nail art again. This time I did a simple revert stamping using What's Up Nails Plate B017. There is a tulip image and I just picked a green and a coral red pink to fill in the flowers and the leaves. The green is CND Crisp Green and the flowers, this color is very shifty. I don't even know what to call it. This is Berry M Under the Sea and the color is called Coral Reef. <laughs> so those two shades turned out really pretty. I think it was very springy, very happy. I enjoyed it quite a bit. The next design I did was a really fun one. This one I used a melting snowman image from Creative Shop Stamping Plate 123. It's just such a fun image. It's just a snowman melting away. I loved, loved, loved that. So the colors I chose are, one is my actually project polish polish. This is Zoya Leia. And then also I have Pretty Serious Bitsy Boo. And then I have a orange shade, the orange for the carrot nose, you know, for the snowman. That is Kitch You Later from Orly again. So I think that Manny turned out really, really cute. I just really wanted to celebrate spring in the way that I actually see it outside. Like spring for us literally just means snow starting to melt. So I thought that was really fitting. I really liked that image and that cuteness altogether. So that's what I did. I feel Easter kind of snuck up on me this year. I just didn't really, maybe because we're all home, like nobody's talking about, oh, what are you doing for Easter? It kind of just like, happened so fast you know regardless i feel i was you know in shock that easter was coming so soon i really wanted to squeeze in a few more easter designs so i decided to start with some bunny designs this one i used three different colors all three of them are from lena nail art i have blueberry delight lavender sorbet and donut glaze so they actually came from a fall collection last year i believe but i think those three colors together look really cute springy a little pastel like so i just wanted to put them together the plate i used is uber chic welcome spring i think it turned out pretty cute i'm happy with a really quick stamping design doesn't have too many layers i didn't have to reverse fill the polish it was very cute. The next Manny is actually kind of sad. It was the seventh day after the Atlanta shootings victims passing. So there is some significance of the seventh day after someone passes away in China. So I decided to do something to remember them on the seventh day. Um, I wrote a lot more in my Instagram post. If you're interested, you can go read over there. But I decided to do a chrysanthemum kind of design because that's the typical funeral flowers in China too. So anyways, <laughs> I picked three colors. They are very typical Chinese funeral color theme too. So the yellow gold base I used is um, 90 lacquer, bells, bells, bells. It's very sparkly, very pretty. And the black and white are just from Maniology stamping polishes. The white is bam white and the black is straight up black. So I picked up some image from Moyu Linden Asia Collection 01 plate. It was actually the same image. It was just one single flower and I just alternated the different colors. I like the design. I think it's very simple, very fitting for a funeral color theme in my mind at least. So that was that many. Then I needed something a little bit more fun because I was just in such a bad mood with the, all that's happening. So I decided to go with some neon colors. So this one is from Night Owl Lacquer. It's called Crystallized Pineapple. It was actually from... 2000 i want to say 17 summer collection or maybe 2018 um it was a fun color for sure it's borderline neon it's a flaky polish the formula is a little bit more on the difficult side but given that the color is so bright 
and it's a yellow i think it's all right i'm willing to work with it i used three coats it's beautiful i loved it the next mani i did was for what's up nails challenge uh, fluid art specifically for geode I decided to go with a blue color theme. The three colors I picked, while well, the white is my Bam White from Maniology again. And then I also have Tally from Julep. It's a kind of lighter, hollow blue. It's just very cute. And then I have a much deeper kind of navy blue. This is Dermalect uh, Phantom. Like I said, it was meant to be a geode design, but I think mine turned out more like a wave, ocean wave. I think it's because of the color. Regardless, I liked it though. Next, I realized March is coming to an end and March is the women's month. I didn't do anything for that, so I was in a panic mode. Let's do something. So <laughs> I decided to go with something simple. I have this plate from Maniology M115 and I used three different colors. They are all from Moyo Linden. So the lightest pink is Pink Wednesday and then I have a hot fuchsia pink. This is Flirtation. And then also a chartreuse green yellow. This is called mellow yellow. I used a white as a base. I basically just did that image for all of my nails. And then I used a black stamping polish to pick up the lettering Live Your Truth and just put that on one of my nails as a accent. To be completely honest though, I really wanted to use the lettering that said Empowered Women, Empowering Women, something like that. But then it was like so many letters. It's just really tiny and small, blurry almost. It's hard to make out what it's saying. So I had to change my plans last minute to live your truth. Uh, but still, I think it was a good design. I liked it. The next one I wore is a contest entry for OPI's 40 years of color and I decided to do a simple kind of design so the three colors I picked are those three I have OPI mod about you OPI can't find my checkbook and OPI my dog sled is a hybrid I decided to do a kind of swirl abstract design I used some detail brush to, you know, draw the outlines and whatnot. It's actually pretty simple. And of course, I used some white polish as well. The design was actually inspired by Sasha. I think her Instagram name is Sasha Joan Nails. Yeah, I will put it on the screen so you can see it. But it was a really cute design. I really like how those three colors um, showed a very like 90s look almost. It's very unusual and I loved it. Then I decided to do some Easter Manny again. I wanted to do some sort of Skittle, just simple Skittle look. So I picked four shades and all of those four shades are from the same collection from Clarice de Carol a couple of years ago. I think she came out with a Easter collection. So I have Bunny Fufu. Hazel's Lullaby and I have a lavender purple that I don't have the sticker on it anymore So I really don't know what it is called and I have chickaboo, but they're all from the same collection I basically put all of them on my nails and I figured I would do some reverse stamping to Tie the colors together just a little bit. So I used uber chic welcome spring plate again just picked out three different kind of flower images I used them to do the reverse stamping put all three flowers on the same nail. I thought that turned out really, really cute. I really enjoyed that look. After a few nail art designs, I decided to go simple again. I just wanted to paint my nails with one color. So I decided to go with my Anchor and Heart Lacquer Pieces of My Heart. This one is such a cute, light periwinkle color. It has a pretty strong blue to purple shift in there. On the nails, you mainly see the blue shift. I don't really see the purple, but it's just a really well done color. It's very delicate. It is very sheer though. With my long nails, I had to use three coats, but I didn't really mind that. I think it was just, it gives it dimension. Anyways, I really enjoyed that look. I thought that was a really cute color to begin with and I would totally wear this again. The very last look is what I have on my nails right now. This is a simple silver and mint half moon look. It's been forever since we did half moons, I feel. And silver and mint, really that was like really popular maybe 10 years ago and also half moon. So I totally feel the 
like 2010 vibe right now <laughs> with this mani but the two colors i used is china glaze tinsel town this one is their jollywood collection polish it was sent to me pr also i have hula sweet water this one is also a pr polish look at this bottle isn't that just like the most pretty thing ever I love it. So I decided the mint and the silver just go hand in hand, very pretty. And it was simple. And I am totally having that 2010 vibe. I like it though. So, you know, that's the last look I did. So like I said, a lot of manis this month, but I had a lot of fun. I think I had a good mix of, you know, just painting my nails with one color and nail art. It was a good balance. I didn't feel burnt out or anything. I felt inspired. I tend to post tutorials for those nail art designs on my Instagram because each one is really short, just like 15 to 20 seconds. I always feel kind of silly to put them on YouTube. So if you are interested to see how those manis are done, go check out my Instagram and check out those little short clips. Also, quick note, I almost forgot. Since we're doing monthly manis, I think we should just go back to our de-stash giveaway too. I do still have all the polishes I'm de-stashing. I am selling them on my Instagram de-stash page too, but the rules will be down below. I will pick a winner next monthly or weekly manny, whichever one I decide to do, but I will announce the winner there. Anyways, the rules will be down below and I hope you will enter. Also, don't forget to give me a like to this video if you really enjoyed it. That really helps me out. Subscribe to my channel and thank you guys for watching. Bye.